Hey guys, this is Miss Early, and this is the tutorial video for the texture rubbing landscape project. Uh, you just need some kind of normal paper, a pencil will work, um, but additional supplies uh, could include like color pencils or even crayons uh, for the texture rubbing part. But you guys know I do not count off. If you do not have anything other than a pencil, a uh, pencil will work just fine. All right. The first part of the project is actually drawing a landscape. Uh, we're doing a very simple landscape, nothing crazy, nothing too difficult. Um, just very simple lines, no details, just kind of like a coloring book, like outlines. So we'll start with maybe a couple of hills. Just some curved lines, nothing too difficult. Um, maybe I'll add some mountains. It's whatever you, however you want to do it. You don't necessarily have to copy my landscape. You can come up with your own, uh, but I'm just giving you some ideas. All right, and then maybe I'll even add, you could add some things up here. Maybe I'll add like a sun. Okay, but I just kept everything a very simple outline. No details, like I said. Okay, so the first part of the project is getting the landscape drawn. And then once you have that done, then you need to go around your house or wherever you're at and find some different objects that have a texture to them. Um, you can, you know, find things in your home that have a texture and slide them under your paper in order to do the texture rubbing, or you could like physically pick this paper up and take it somewhere in your home um, and lay it on top of something with a texture. Like maybe, you know, like my porch is made of cement, so I could lay it on my porch and do a texture rubbing or my bathroom tiles. Uh, anything works as long as it has a texture. So just get creative with it. Um, I'm using this little rough piece of fabric to demonstrate to you guys how the texture rubbing works. I just simply lay it under my paper I'm using a colored pencil and I just start to rub my color pencil across and the texture will show up. All right. And I'm going to continue to do this all over the image, finding different texture things around the house so that I can, you know, fill in my picture. I might change up my green so you can see them a little better. Okay. All right. So you should be able to see, guys, uh, the texture that's kind of showing up. I can kind of zoom in for you a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, but yes, so that is the project in a nutshell. You'll just keep coloring in your image or shading it in if you only have pencil. Um, and just using different textures that you find around your home. Okay, so good luck guys.